Well, we're now less than seven hours away from a possible government shutdown at exactly midnight tonight. It's a big story. Uh, joining us now to talk about it, we welcome back our good friend, Dr. Lee, Lee Hanna, Assistant Professor of Political Science at Wright State University. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, Thanks for having me. Welcome back to Five on Two. Yes. We've had these federal shutdowns in the past. The last one, I think, what, 2013? Correct. But if tonight, it would be the first time it's happened where you get the same party in control of both the White House and both houses of Congress. Given that, how did we get to this point? Yeah, that, that's a, it's a great point, and this would be the first time of the eight recent shutdowns where we've had unified government. Um, and we've gotten here for a few reasons, um, probably most notably when President Trump decided to end the DACA program, the uh, uh, program for DREAMers, for children who um, were, were brought here illegally but kind of of no action of their own. Right. Um, when he decided to shut that program down and put March as kind of a looming deadline to do something, that made all of these budget meetings, and we've had a a handful of them that made them all kind of higher stakes. And so um, Congress has, has punted uh, through congressional resolution on a couple of these to kind of move back the deadline. And now we're at a point where Democrats, even though they are the minority party, the fact that Republicans need 60 votes in the Senate means that they can withhold their support, threaten a filibuster, and essentially uh, look down the, the Republicans at this point with just a few hours left. So given the fact that DACA seems to be the major sticking point, mm -hmm. but, but you make the good point that th that deadline is not till March. Why not just pass another 30-day CR, kick the can down the road yet again and deal with it in February or March? Sure. So from, from the Democrat side, they think this is the best opportunity they have. This is their window to try to do something with DACA. And when they look at their constituency, especially those Democrats who maybe have presidential ambitions, they think that this is a, a, a moment to stay principled. You also have some Republicans, though, who are tired of this method of governing. So Lindsey Graham has mm -hmm. come out, Rand Paul and others, and they've said, you know, I'm, I'm tired of this uh, just patchwork governance. Um, now, the fact that the Republicans have put in uh, funding for, for CHIP, for children's health insurance, right. uh, to, to last for, for years has really put Democrats in a more difficult position because while they are defending the Dreamers by holding off, they also may risk this deal that they have right now with uh, children's health insurance. If, again, if the shutdown happens, it takes effect at mid midnight tonight, meaning it takes full effect tomorrow, which just happens to be January 20th, which just happens to be the one-year anniversary of President Trump's inauguration. Mm -hmm. Is it at all possible here that the Democrats are going to use that as leverage, not wanting the Republicans to you know, risk the optics of, on the one-year anniversary of the Trump inauguration, the government shuts down? Yes, and both parties are paying attention to the polls. And um, you know, I'll tell you two things. Right now, more Americans blame the Republicans than they do the Democrats. It's about the same number as what we saw in 2013. We also know, though, that in 2013, it didn't seem to hurt the Republicans. When 2014 rolled around and those midterm elections occurred, they had you know, sweeping victories. Uh, so you know, the, the long game is still something that they're trying to work out. Um, the other issue for members of the Senate are these Democrats in these states that voted for Trump. So mm -hmm. there's 10 of them yep. who are going up to, uh, be, to try to be reelected um, in an electorate that voted for Trump. And so so they're feeling a little more vulnerable and a little more pressured to make a deal and to move on um, and not be seen, you know, not be blamed for this down the line when they uh, approach their voters. Well, in most cases, if the government shuts down, there are no winners. I hope we can avoid this thing between now and midnight tonight. Lee Hanna, thank you so much. Thank you. Always appreciate your time and expertise. Guys, let's talk about some good news. That would be the weather.